I'm going to show you how to make a food chain, which is uh, a big skill that all of our students are using in science class mainly, but there's other classes also. So I want to go ahead and go into Word, and I've got a hotkey for that, so I'm going to do Start Key Four. Four. Cancel button to activate quest space bar. Let's increase the view so you can see what's happening. Alt V and then Z. Let's do 100 percent. Actually, let's make it a little bit larger. Alt V Z 200 percent. Let's center that with Control E. Type in food chain and enter. Control R. And type in your name, enter. Let's do Alt N and D for your date, and enter your date. Control L to left align. Now let's go ahead and insert our shape, which is Alt N, and then M for Smart Art. Select the diagram type, list box organization charts, one of six. And we're going to go to a cycle diagram and input it. Now let's go ahead and decrease, so Alt B, Z, 100%, so you can see everything that's going to occur. Now, if you wanted to insert more cycles, this is the time to do it. So hit your Applications key, which is the key on the right side of your spacebar by your control. Applications, context menu, menu, exit, edit, text, insert shape, edit. Insert shape. Enter, leaving menus, print view, edit. And you can insert a shape. I don't want to insert another shape, so I'm going to control Z just to undo Two. that. And I'm going to go back to my original form. So the first part of my cycle is going to be grass. And if I want to increase the size of that, I just control shift crash, left crash, arrow selected. and control shift greater than. Point, well point, and I can make this as large as I want. Length. Right arrow, and then of course I can add more detail. Enter. Hit enter. And now you're going to insert a graphic. All the sighted kids are doing it. You want your blind students to be able to do this also. So we want to do all N for insert and F for clip art. So you're going to type in grass and enter and we find all our images for grass. Tab in to your images and then down arrow to the grass that you want. Now, once you find the grass you want, you're going to hit your Applications key and enter on Insert. And then your picture inserts. Escape once, down arrow, escape again, and down arrow to your next object. Now we're going to have the rabbit eats the grass. So once again, I'm going to hit F6 to jump back over to my clip art. I'm going to tab to my search box. I'm going to type in rabbit and enter to begin my search. I'm going to tab in to my clip art. I'm going to choose the first rabbit, so hit your applications key and enter on insert. Escape once, down arrow, escape right arrow to your next object. Now we're going to have the fox eats the rabbit. So I'm going to hit F6 to jump over to my clip art, tab to my search box, type in fox, and enter to do my searching. I'm going to tab down to my clip art. I'm going to down arrow to my fox that I want. And you'll notice that JAWS does do a nice job of describing your images. That's a sly fox. I want a red fox standing in the snow. So applications key and enter on insert, and I insert it. Escape once, down arrow, escape again. Now I want to change the color of my arrows. So now I'm going to tab to my first arrow, Applications key, up arrow to Format, Auto Shape, and Enter. I land on my colors and lines, so I'm going to do Alt-C. And I always tell my students, the second row really has the lightest colors, which makes great contrast with your font. So we're going to choose light colors. Enter, color enter tab off twice, enter, and your arrow changes. Tab to the next arrow, Applications key, up arrow to Format, Enter, Alt-C, down arrow twice, and right arrow to your next color, Enter, tab off twice, Enter, tab to your next arrow, 
Applications key. Here the format. Enter. Alt C. Down arrow twice. And right arrow to your next color. Enter. Tap off twice. And enter. Now let's hit escape. Now your student may accidentally hit escape and not have finished this picture. So this is how you re-access all those objects. Control Home, down arrow. Now you must be left aligned in order to access this. So Control L, now begin to down arrow and it reselects your objects. At this point you can go ahead and tab and move around all your objects and then begin editing them as you want. Just remember you need to hit escape and down arrow to move around your objects. That easy. Escape, escape. And at this point my students will email this off to their teacher. The teacher uses track changes to correct it, send it back, and the student can read their grade all by themselves using their talking software. Okay, practice these skills.